up next is a category that Minister Farrell called out during the speech earlier, the Emerging Exporter Award for Outstanding Export Achievement by an enterprise in any industry sector which has been exporting goods or services for three years or less. We have eight finalists in this category, representing all eight states and territories of Australia. Let's invite our platinum sponsor, Australian Trusted Trader, to present this award. Please welcome Deputy Comptroller General Customs to the stage, Vanessa Holborn, PSM. It is an honour to be here to present this award on behalf of the Australian Trusted Trader Program and the Australian Border Force. The Australian Trusted Trader Program accredits Australian businesses of all sizes, from large and established operations to small and emerging enterprises, just like the finalists we're about to meet. So I'm very pleased to be here representing Australian Trusted Trader as the sponsor of the Emerging Exporter category tonight. I'd also like to extend my congratulations to all the finalists here at the, cere at the ceremony for making it this far and to wish you well as you continue to take Australian goods and innovation to the world. The finalists for the Emerging Exporter category are... Australian Cattle Enterprises. Bitwise Agronomy. Fixie Lab. My Venue. Plungy. Premier Metal Recyclers. The Natural Patch Company. Twisted Healthy Treats. to do this, open up a winning envelope. Uh, and the winner is My Venue. Oh my goodness. Didn't expect to win that. Um, <laughs> I did write something though, so um, uh, on behalf of my venue, um, I just wanted to um, specially acknowledge the uh, sponsors and the platinum, platinum sponsors tonight and the presenters of this award, the Australian Trusted Trader, and of course the government through um, Australian Trade and Investment Commission, and then the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, These, I don't need to tell you guys here about how important exports are for our country. And I don't need to tell you that exports are not easy. Um, travel is essential, of course. Early mornings and late night calls, um, plus all the other shenanigans of uh, lawyers and accountants as you deal with international trade. But I, I wanted to say also in acknowledging our team, our first export deal was only in April 2021. And we did the deal, you couldn't travel. We did the deal in America over Microsoft Teams. And we had to get some, find some Americans to go and install our system because we weren't able to travel over there. Since then, we've done two, two dozen venues in North America, and we include our customers um, like the Miami Grand Prix, the Arizona Cardinals, Chicago White Sox, and in three months' time, the Super Bowl. So, um, so that's, uh, it's a fun story. So, so this award is for all of our team, including um, David and Scott behind me and Michelle back there um, sitting at the table. Um, it's fantastic and we're really excited to win. Hang, hang on, Tim. You haven't just not been exporting for three years or less. You haven't been around for three years, have you? Uh, uh, that's you pretty started, much, yeah. Did you start two months before the pandemic? Uh, we employed our first, we were in the hospitality sector and we employed our first full-time staff in February 2020. <laughs> and by the end of March, I was thinking, this is a really bad time to start a business <laughs> in hospitality. Okay, so just explain to everyone what you do. It is, you pri provide stadium services, started we off with Adelaide Oval. Yeah, so we supply point of sale systems, so we do 
bars, uh, restaurants, suites, all the concession stands, hamburger stands, uh, and Americans like their hamburgers and beers and peanuts. Uh, we, do, um, we do retail, um, they sell it in the parking lot, and Americans do a lot of retail merchandise is really big over there. So we do everywhere where you can buy a beer or have a beer delivered to your seat or food delivered to your seat or to your suite or to your corporate box. We do the software that runs all of that and, uh, and supply the hardware as well. So when you started the business less than three years ago, was export the main game to uh, actually I, set the business up? I think we knew... Uh, we had Adelaide Oval as a key customer. We, we, we hoped that the US was going to... what would be an opportunity for us, but obviously we, we, no one could predict the pandemic. So, no. um, and in hindsight, it worked out all right because um, we, didn't, we, we, we didn't make any sales in the first year, but we didn't really expect to make any sales while, while we got the product right. So yeah. it worked out all right. Well, mate, it's an incredible success story, isn't it? A business built from the ground up for export. Thank Tim, you. congratulations. Thank you very much.